What is that? That's what you make gloves out of. <laughs> oh my god. Guys, I really want to show you how to make this Indian chai. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. But first, a little bit of backstory. As you guys know, I post a lot of photos on Instagram. Naturally, I follow a lot of Instagram photographers, one of which is Portbox. Portbox is awesome. They do a lot of interviews with cinematographers and they post different photographers from around Instagram. It's a portfolio of the best photography work on Instagram. I was following them, going through all their stuff, commenting, and the guy responded. His name's Maddie. I find out he's from India and he's coming to visit LA. And while he was here, he taught me how to make this authentic Indian chai. And ever since, I've been a Addicted. I've been obsessed. I got freaking all the spices. I got the mortar and pestle having a chai every night It just calms me down. It's so peaceful. The first thing you got to do when we're talking fresh chai is get fresh ingredients Which is why we're at Namaste Spice Land in Pasadena ratios pots and pans whatever forget all that stuff We're here for the highest quality spices. That's the first thing first and foremost Man, honestly, Nick, I do feel some pressure right now. I am a young Padawan of chai. I just want to share my love of chai with you guys. I hope I do Maddie and the whole country of India justice. <laughs> so Maddie told me about this place. Let's go check it out. Black tea, specifically red label. This is the stuff that Maddie was like, yo, this is the one you want right here. We got whole cloves, fennel seeds. These are the ones you'll need. Black pepper, it's very important. Cinnamon sticks whole cinnamon sticks. The ginger root, fresh. First, I'm gonna skin it, grate some of this down, and throw that into the mix. Cardamom. This kind of makes up the main flavor of the chai. This is per cup of chai. You can multiply the amounts depending on how many cups you're doing. So we'll start with cloves. So that's about as much cloves as you'll need. Fennel seeds. You want like a whole pinch of this stuff. About that much. Next is black pepper. Maybe three. I don't know, you might need more. We'll see. Cinnamon sticks. You're gonna need just a chunk. Just one little chunk. Plenty. And then finally, cardamom. There's these little seeds in here. You want about 14 of these little seeds. And this is the flavor of the chai right here. So I'm gonna take all this, grind it up into here. So basically for one cup of chai, you want half whole milk and half water. So I'll bring that to a boil. All right, so guys, my ingredients are prepped. My milk's boiling, almost. The next step is to hope that I got these ratios correct, especially since I'm doing it in bulk. It's time, we're just dropping this spice straight in, guys, let's go. Let's see, what's he doing? Hey, Jake, are you going somewhere, man? I'm going to Mexico. What? Yeah, my Wendy's family has a house down there. We went down there and I signed into my Netflix account. Dude, all different stuff, all way better stuff than what we get up here. So I'm going, dude. I'm just gonna be there for like a week. I'll be back. Literally to watch Netflix? Yeah. Just get a VPN. You can basically set it up as a proxy. Tell it you're in Mexico and it will let you watch any of the content there from anywhere. Tell it, what do you mean tell it I'm in Mexico? Just go do some research on a VPN. figured out why today's episode is brought to you by ExpressVPN. That's right, I'd like to thank them for being here because without them, I would have never researched VPNs and I would have never figured out that VPNs, they're kind of like secure links between two parts of the internet and a VPN service does a couple of things for you. Number one, it can make your connection more secure by encrypting your information as it goes between different links of the internet. In addition, VPN services allow you to proxy your server, meaning that you can pick a server from another region or another country even and tell the rest of the internet that that's where you are. Basically giving you anonymity and unlocking access to content that's only available in that region. Hence why we're here right now. Simply by using ExpressVPN, I'll be able to sign into my Netflix account and tell the internet that I'm actually down there when I'm actually up here. Isn't that great? I've tried other VPN services in the past myself. ExpressVPN is definitely one of the fastest and one of the best. So if you guys go and sign up now with expressvpn.com slash corridor crew and you buy a one year package, 
you'll get three months free. If you don't want to make that kind of commitment, it's just seven bucks a month with a 30 day money back guarantee. They also have it on phones and on tablets. So they're mobile. You can go anywhere. It's an app. Just go to expressvpn.com slash corridor crew. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S VPN.com slash corridor crew. And you too can be an anonymous, secure internet rogue. Okay. Fresh ginger. Fresh ginger. So I just let this sit. That's all you do, let it sit. Yes, now this is very important because this happened to me a couple times. It like boiled over and I lost a lot of the spice and a lot of the milk. I spilled the chai, man. We were watching the first video of how I messed this up and then it happened. <laughs> oh shit. Maddie, what did you do wrong? He just didn't take it away. I did, I picked it up. He like did it. not. It gets the feel the heat. But here's away. Right? Yeah, that, that. I get, uh, maybe it's Come on, this. man. Like, if you don't watch it with an eagle eye, it's gonna boil over. You gotta be ready. When milk boils, it turns into this foam and it just goes. <laughs> Interesting. The milk is coming up. Heads up, heads up, heads up. And you removed from the heat. Yeah. So it almost came up. I removed it from the heat. Give it a little stir. See how it's turning orange? That's good. Go back on. You wanna let it bubble up three times. Three times, it's gonna boil up. So the third time. Yeah, number three. I'm gonna go one more for good luck. That's basically it. Now we gotta pour this out. You got your sifter. This is always a process here because I always spill this thing. Get yourself a pot with a lip on it. Also, get yourself a chai pot because if you're cooking like meats and other things in here, your chai's gonna start tasting like meat and that's gross. You're probably gonna see me mess this up. So graceful. <laughs> Not bad. Let's try it. Good batch? Yeah, it's a good batch. This is a spice batch, dude. Dude, that is good. Mm. Myself, Clint, Nico, we've been into Dark Souls Remastered on Switch. It's great. Uh, we've been playing the crap out of it for the last two weeks and we kinda are trying to figure out if we can make a video around this. Basically a collection of our favorite moments or jokes from the game and uh, doing it in live action. We're gonna brainstorm a little bit and see what we can come up with. I want to know what are we trying to accomplish so that way we can start interrupting that with all these gags. Yeah, we're trying to get ready for a boss fight but that means now everyone has their own reasons. Oh, if people keep losing connection and it's like, God. It's like, I had both of you guys ready, and then now like one of them goes <laughs> Or even just like super funny, like you have a person that they, they, they don't, like a stranger or something. You could summon somebody and they show up and they just jump off the ledge and die. And it's like, oh. Yeah. Nobody I, laugh, Not, don't put that one in. That's a bad idea. <laughs> hey man, we gotta throw them out. It's good. People are getting ready for a boss fight. It's like, starts with one and he's summoning his friends. Um, things that are happening during this, we're not sure the order, but it's, your chunky rolls, trying to like trying to lighten your load to like get ready to fight. Uh, we have like one person who's really eager to see the boss, so he's like says he's just gonna poke his head in, and he pokes his head in, and then he gets sucked in. You hear him die, and he shows up a hollow, like, <laughs> like <laughs> and everyone's like, ah, like. He's got thin string being legs. <laughs> the person who just can't stop smashing the pots, mm -hmm. rolling into pots, where we would probably just get some real pots. Awkward somersaults into real pots, breaking them. Sam, I'm gonna just do a draft real quick and see if I come up with anything. What is that? It's a chai simulation. <laughs> All right guys, it's ready to get your chai. Where's everybody? I don't know, dude. <laughs> it doesn't matter. More chai for us. Yeah, more chai for us. This is great. So What's enjoy. What's Starbucks cup doing here? Good things happen when cultures come together, right, guys? Yes. Cheers, hey, cheers, cheers. Cheers. And to the chef. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so bad. Dude, Tastes like, like Christmas. It's the perfect fall <laughs> drink. What is that? That's what you make gloves out of. Oh, you can make like gecko skin. You can make loincloths out of that. 
Wait, what is this? It's milk skin. Milk skin? Looks like a little giraffe. It does, dude. That's nuts. <laughs> dude, it, like, it went like... I was like, what the heck is that? And I saw this like fish in my tripod. Like, what the heck? That's like serious, dude. That's serious, man. I kind of want to keep this. What are you going to do with it? I don't know, dude. Jake, eat this. Is that an octopus? What is that? It's a mushroom? <laughs> It smells kind of good. You might have to scrap a these milk skins right off the top. And go what is that? Dude, it looks like plastic. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Where'd it go? Consume, that? dude. Back, to the, back to the depths. Oh, Can I try it? Try it out. <laughs> does it does it try good? What? what? <laughs> it's, so first off. first impressions, it smells really good. Awesome. They say that smell is ninety percent of taste. Actually, hearing is eighty four percent of smell. Yeah. Ooh. Freaking fish lips, dude. <laughs> um, I feel calmer upon drinking it. I'm getting that tea calming effect. Yeah. This would be delicious around Halloween. around the hearth during Thanksgiving and yep. Christmas. Mm -hmm. Add a little, yeah, add a little Bailey's yourself. to this, maybe. Let maybe make it Irish Indian. <laughs> this is really good. I want the hide. Okay, here you can chomp the hide, <laughs> hide dude. Oh, do you see that? Oh, little skin. <laughs> 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 oh, you made it, dude. Yeah, you made that, dude. Hey, where's that? Where's that? Uh, the big one. <laughs> where's the big one? I don't know. Put oh, you in the. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's milk hide, dude. Oh. What? Dude, your freaking chai molted. Yeah. Look at that. It even has a freaking like snake skin Wait. pattern. That's good. It's smooth. Nice and smooth. Nice and creamy and smooth. Dude, that is good though. Dude, Clint, thank you for showing us this. And thanks to Maddie for showing you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> thank you, Maddie. And thank you. Um, that's it. Bizarre. <laughs>